Hi, this is Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally. I have finally gotten a chance to get yard sailing, which I love to do. I went to two different yard sales and picked up five items, and I thought I'd show you how I took them from kind of just, you know, yard sale to Farmhouse Fabulous. So we are going to go through these five projects, and hopefully you will enjoy this as much as I did. So I ended up getting these at two different yard sales. The first yard sale, I picked up these three shelves that are four feet long, each one of them. One was painted white and the other two were the, a natural pine color. So I took them home and cleaned them up and decided that I really didn't love the color stain and the fact that the pine knots showed through. So I decided I wanted to give them a paint job, but first I had to repair one, the painted one, which needed a little glue in the uh, corner where it had separated. And it also had chipped, so I had to take some wood filler and just fill in a little corner. Then I took my Rust-Oleum chalk linen white and I added a little bit of the truffle color. And I was initially gonna get just kind of a creamy, farmhouse but I ended up adding black and getting it more of a gray tone because I just didn't love the color and so here was the two different sides they're this similar um, but I decided to go with the more gray color so you can see the difference here the white one and the gray one and then I went ahead and uh, gave that two coats and took some wax some decorative wax in white with a rag and I just went ahead and rubbed that, once it was dry, all the way in, all over the piece. And then it catches in the crevices. That's what I love about the wax. And it gives it this just wonderful two-tone, I don't know, just almost antique -y feeling. And I just love it. And you can leave it like that or you can spray a min wax uh, matte finish over it just so that it is... Um, protected. So here they are, just two of them. I'm going to do the third one later in a different color. And so I decided to just kind of show you a piece of it, what it would look like. I'm not going to hang it on my wall, but here it is in my bathroom because that's like a blush pink color and I think it looks fabulous with the gray. So really the second one is not even a project. <laughs> it was this big, huge bowl that I saw at a yard sale. It was dirty. It was $4 and it is huge. I took it home and I cleaned it. <laughs> that is all I did to it, and it is absolutely spectacular. She was a caterer, loved it for potato salad. I just thought it would look fantastic in the sale that I'm going to have coming up with this um, vignette that I have to sell. So that is all I did with that one. And then the third project is this awesome little office, I guess it would be a caddy, um, it was $5 and it had this damage to the corner. And um, other than that, it wasn't in too bad a shape, needs a little touch up with the paint. I loved the color, loved everything about it. I took my wood filler and I just fixed that corner piece and gave that uh, time to dry overnight. I sanded it. And then uh, once it was sanded, I lightly, I happened to have the same exact color in a wall color and I touched it up and it was just perfect for this table, which I've already had, and with some pieces that I just decorated. I wanted you to see the legs on the table and how amazing it looks together, and this one I am keeping. <laughs> so project number four might have been my favorite. I have never done this before, but I've seen it done where I took this tarnished brass bowl and it was worse for wear. I'm sure I could have found some brass cleaner, but I'm just not a brass person. So I took my Rust-Oleum chalked linen white paint and I added a touch of the cream wall color and I gave it two coats. It took a little while to dry in between, um, but it just um, covered very quickly and easily. And once it was fully dry, I took my sanding block and some um, a wet rag and I distressed the edges where that roping came around the um, sides of the bowl and I distressed the feet 
And then here and there, just a little bit, I wiped off a little bit of the paint so you could see the brass coming through. And then I lightly sanded all of it so that it would be smooth to the touch. And it just looks phenomenal. And so I took, after that light sanding, uh, to make sure all the paint was kind of smooth to the touch, I took a Rust-Oleum um, or Minwax, that comes in both, um, matte finish spray and I just went outside and I quickly sprayed one coat of finish over the top of it so that I could seal that in because I really wanted to um, be able to use this as a decorative piece and not have that um, come off at all any further I just liked the way it was and then I decorated it and then my daughter came home and said oh my gosh that's adorable it kind of looks like a soaking tub so <laughs> I thought wow great idea so I took it in my bathroom and I added some different ones to give people a different idea because I'm going to sell this at my craft fair coming up and um, just to give them an idea of what they can do with it and how adorable. I believe I paid a dollar for that piece. <laughs> it's phenomenal. Now the last one I actually did already put a video out, but I did want to put it here for those of you who didn't see it. This little picture, cute farmhouse, a dollar, but not my kind of farmhouse. So I took the same two colors, the chalk linen white and a little bit of the cream, and this time I added 50% baking soda. And that gives your paint a texture, which is somewhat cement-like. After the first coat, um, I left the inside as is in case I wanted to add water and live florals at any point. After that first coat dried, I went through with the brush and I gave it a little bit more texture um, just so that it would have more of that look to it. And then I gave it a second coat and let it dry. That's all there is to it. Adorable. And here it is on top of that piece I love so much in the living room. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. I would love a comment on your favorite item. See you soon.